Nairobi. Two governors, Nyamira's Amos Nyaribu and his Meru counterpart Kawira Mwangaza, are staring at a potential ouster from office following bad blood between them and members of their respective county assemblies. Nyamira MCAs have vowed to eject Nyaribu from office of a myriad of issues, while Kawira Mwangaza is facing revolt from MCAs barely nine months after surviving an impeachment motion at the Senate. Clement Masombo reports. Outside Nyamira County Assembly, when a section of MCAs arrived ready to table a motion of impeachment against Governor Amos Nyaribu. Out of 34 members of the County Assembly, 24 had signed in support for the impeachment motion. The MCAs are accusing the governor of abuse of office, gross violation of the constitution and failure to obey court orders. The motion was tabled by SCC Ward MCA Josiah Mangera. As the constitution demands, we've done our bit as MCAs. Uh, we've uh, tabled the motion before the county <laughs> assembly. And now the document that the details all the grounds for the impeachment is a public document now. Earlier on, there was a standstill when unknown people delivered a lot of stones and raw sewage just at the entrance of the assembly. We've done our mandate according to Article 181 of the Kenyan Constitution 2010, which sets out the grounds for removal of a, a governor from office which includes violation of the constitution, uh, abuse of office, or misconduct. And in Meru County, Governor Kawera Mwangaza is at it again as she stares at another impeachment motion. The motion coming barely nine months after senators rescued her from rejection. Uh, MCA wate wameweka. Na hata wapiga kura wenyewe wangeweka. Na wacha niseme, tuta support your motion, mpaka Meru rundi pali likuwa, Wakati wa mwishimu wa kreito Murongi na Peter Munya, wakati tulikuwa tunaona maendeleo. Members of the County Assembly of Meru are accusing the governor of failing to comply with what they had agreed on earlier. In December 2022, she was served by the Senate when the Boni Halwale led committee dismissed report by the County Assembly of Meru. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa later intervened and reconciled the governor and MCS. Already members from the minority parties have announced withdrawal of their support for Governor Mwangaza. I have been given instructions by our SG, who is uh, Honorable Kanini Kega, yes. that as Jubilee, fourth week, fourth week, I'm going forward with Jubilee withdraws its support to one Honorable Kawira Mwangaza. Kabla wow. December zakuwa na Governor Mgini Mpia. Kwa sababu, ini kitulianza kitampo na tulianzia hapa hapa. Kwa hivyo tunawa vita na wewe gabana, kwa hili ya kuwanana, tulikuambia urekebishi na waishimu wa meru, ukasindu. Will Kawera Mwangaza survive the onslaught this time round? Clement Masombo, KTN News. To a sad story now, where